really common question, the idea of, okay, so is there any point in using a proprietary system when there's all these great open source? Or I hear the opposite as well. Like, you know, all of these open source things seem kind of, to me, not supported and scary. I prefer to go with something that is uh, more stable than those. But really, those two distinctions are not useful. Uh, There's uh, really very little that one can say about the pros and cons of an open source system versus the pros and cons of something that is proprietary supported by a vendor. So when we were looking at content management systems for our most recent report, you know, we expected to see that there would be a difference in the, you know, the proprietary systems could do certain things and the open source systems could do other things. But it turned out that wasn't really the case. Um, you know, so of the four content management systems, we uh, open source systems we looked at, um, you know, WordPress, for example, is a very commonly used but not really fully featured sort of uh, system. And it's much more like some of the proprietary systems like Squarespace, um, you know, where they're much more of an sort of an entry level but very user friendly. Uh, and on the other end, we had things like Plone or Drupal, which are really powerful and complicated uh, systems, but they're also open source, and they're more powerful than a lot of the things that you would get from a vendor. Um, and it's even kind of confusing in the definition of, well, what is vendor-supported and what isn't? So WordPress is actually, run, is, is actually headed up by a for-profit organization, um, but is an open source tool. Or you have things like uh, .NET Nuke, which used to be an open source system, um, but then they actually incorporated, and it's now uh, the .NET Nuke Corporation. Um, and then you have things like Expression Engine, which has a very big community of supporters, and you have uh, you know third-party add-ons and modules that you can add. But it's you know led by and supported by a vendor. But it's also only like $150 for a nonprofit to use. So it's really hard to, to say just, I'm only going to get open source or I'm, ne- I'm only going to do vendor supported uh, because the differences are so wide just within each of those categories. Um, so there is, there's really, this comes down to three things. So it comes down to the cost. So open source systems tend to be uh, free to acquire. Uh, but more expensive potentially to set up, maybe, um, while proprietary systems might be more expensive up front, but could potentially, uh, more expensive to license, but could potentially be easier to set up. So really you got to weigh the cost of yourself. You want to think about extensibility, so how easy is it to build on additional things that it doesn't have. And here, in fact, there's almost, you would think that open source systems would be way better at that, but in fact, content management systems in general are fairly extensible, so really you're actually looking there at things like the size of the community, and there are huge communities around some of the, the proprietary tools in the space. And then the last thing you're looking at is support. So where are you getting your support? How good is it? And again, this is something that you could see say, okay, well, there's this official channel of support from a vendor, but it's not necessarily any good. Um, So you might want to, for your own reasons, go hire a consultant to support you anyway. In the world of open source, there are both really good consultants and there are now almost official channels. There are companies that just specialize in doing the support. So that really is is a trade-off as well. So really the only way to go is to think through what your actual needs are and to compare.